Hello, my name is Bart. I present you my glorious socket free machine. Starring the fastest 486 clone from AMD and S3 Verge family graphics card. Most commonly known as the 3D decelerators. But in this scenario, I'm going to prove that it actually can provide both superior image quality and better performance when coupled with weak enough CPU. So let's power it up. I'm gonna run hardware info program to show the full config. <coughs> yeah. Well, here we've got that CPU is AMD 5x86, overclocked to around 160 megahertz. Well, depending on software, some reports from 154 to 162 so can't be exactly sure theoretically should be four times 40 megahertz 160 um, uh, we've got 2556 kilobytes of level 2 cache and the first level is actually reported incorrectly because that processor has 16 kilobytes of raid bad cache uh, what else we've got 32 megs of RAM total and the graphics card is F3 Verge DX is the second card from the series uh, improved upon the first original Verge uh, uh, providing full speed uh, independent perspective correction uh, which is very handy well they're not very fast but uh, with a very low low end hardware it can actually boost performance a little. Uh, right, it's it's been expanded to four megs of memory. And now I'm going to load the CD drive emulator because I don't have the CD drive in that machine. So I'm going to use the 250 megabyte zip drive with the image. I've got a. I'm using the SHSU CD package. It's a very good and uh, small uh, CD emulator and CD driver for those. Yeah, that's it. Install. Now let's power up Tomb Raider. Yeah, let's run it in software mode first and see how it performs. So in software mode, we've got only three detail settings. 
So let's edit it on high. Yeah, in the on the high detail settings, you can see it's pretty much a slideshow. And, and uh, even on highest settings, the pal color palette is only 8 bit, which is 256 colors, so <laughs> uh, nothing special, really. completely unplayable. If you drop the resolution to 320 by 200 pixels, it's much smoother. It shows that CPU is actually quite adept of running it in that resolution, but the pixels are really blocky, and uh, to me, it looks completely disgusting. I wouldn't play it in that resolution. If we drop the detail, low, uh, it runs much smoother, but the texture filtering is a bit worse. And still the colors are just terrible. <laughs> I think that's enough for the software mode. Uh. Now it's part of the S3 accelerated version. Alright, here in the details, we have uh, options to switch on the of perspective correction, bilinear filtering, and resolution. So, to compare it directly with software, let's use the top resolution and everything on the highest setting. And voila, we've got 16-bit colors, fully featured textures, and it runs quite well, I would say. Well, not perfectly quickly, but if we drop the bilinear filtering, oh, sorry. Wrong menu. It runs even smoother. In that resolution, the textures actually look sharper with the nearest neighbor, 
because of the way the monitor handles it. And the benefit of using a free version is we can use the middle resolution for even better performance. Oops, seems like we are stuck. Oh, oh, that's better. Okay. So, fix it to title. Here, voila! That looks actually pretty smooth now. Still with all the highest detail. And because the native resolution of that monitor is 1024 by 768, so using the half resolution of a game just uh, makes it mm, scale it exactly twice. So it still looks very good. Runs fully playable. So I conclude that using that CPU, S3 Verge is actually a 3D accelerator. Yeah, for with not the best performance. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you got more suggestions of what to run on that hardware, just let me know. <laughs>